we're going to practice uh, visual field testing on consultation today. And uh, before we start, we need to take consent of the patient. We are going to do a confrontation real field. We'll ask you where the yeah, different uh, directions, where the stimulus is coming from. You have to reply uh, in the positive. If when you see it, and if you don't see it, then you have to say you don't see it. Uh, shall we go ahead? Yes. Okay, with that. Okay, thank you. And uh, let's see. Uh, first, if you want to close your uh, left eye with your left hand, and I'll close my other eye, I'll close my right eye with my right hand. And first, you can do a screening test in which you go ahead and just do with this the counting fingers. How many fingers do you see over here? And how many fingers do you see now? And now? And now? So, what you need to do is ask the patient to continuously keep them straight. If you close the other eye, let me go ahead and do the other eye. Look at my, uh, this is towards my uh, eye in front of you. And can you see how many eyes do you see? How many fingers do you see? How many now? One. And keep looking straight at my eye. Try not to look on the side. Now, can you see anything? Two. And can you see anything over there? Okay. So that's fine. So you can take your hand off over there. The next thing we're going to do is do it with a stimulus, which is going to be coming from the side. So I'll ask you when you see the target, and then when you don't see the target, you can tell me, and we'll take it from there if there's any scotoma or not. We will bring it from the side, bring it to the right to the center. If you close your left eye. What we need to do is first we'll need to close my eye. So if I'm wearing glasses, um, then probably it's better off if it's sort of myopic glasses. If you can see from there, you can take off the glasses. And similarly for the patient, it's better to take off the glasses to get rid of the ring scotoma from the glasses. And, but if you've got a high myope, then it becomes very difficult to do. Uh, you, uh, ask the patient, uh, look straight towards me in my eye on this side and keep looking over here when I do the test. I'm going to bring the target, and you can see the silver target. Can you see this? The tip of the pen over here, the silver one. I'm going to bring it to the side. So what you need to do is come at an arm length and, and then bring the target halfway between. And as you can see, the moropper is slightly uh, curved, so you need to bring it. So this one is the temperate target. You need to bring from the outer side. So can you see the target over here? So you ask them if you can see it or not. Can you see the target? Yes. Can you see it? And you see, keep seeing it, and when you don't see it, let me know. Is there any place where you don't see it? And can you see it still now? Yes. And then now, can you see it over here? When you see, or oh, speak um, loudly so you can record this. So can you uh, yes. see it over here? Can you yes. see it over here? Yes. Keep looking straight ahead. So ask the patient not to look down. So that is very important. And then, can you see it coming from this side? Uh, can you see it now? Can you see it over here? Can you let me know when you can yes. see it? You can see it over here? Yes. Can you keep seeing it? Yes. Can you keep? And now you go on to the other side. It's probably, um, you can switch on, keep looking to that side. Try not to cross your hand. So if I'm going to cross my hand. Can you see this target over here? Can you see it over here? Yes. Keep, let me know if there's any change when you. Is this disappear at any point? Yes. Can you see? Yes. You can see. This is a peripheral real field of one side. Can you do the other eye? You quickly do the other eye and similarly, and can you see it over here? Yes. So you need to go backward because the, the different one is the most difficult to do super temporal. And can you see it? Yes. Yes. So, and you keep seeing it, you pass it. So what we quickly do is do the, the central um, blind spot. Try to look towards me. This is slightly bigger target. Can you give me a smaller target? The pen, we can try that one. The blue pen. And if you go over here, the one, the other target, this one. Yeah. So, can you keep looking over here? Uh, let me see. Uh, can you see this tip of this blue pen over here? So, uh, I'll try. Uh, you can see it over here. I'll make it keep looking towards me and I'll make it go over to the temporal side. And do you see is it goes missing over here? Yes. So this is the blind spot. Once you capture this blind spot, tell me when you see it again. Can you see it now? Yes. So it comes back. So this is, can you see it now? Yes. So you can, sort of, can you see it now? Yes. And now? Yes. So this is where you sort of, uh, sort of plot the, so you can, thank you very much for cooperating. And this is the visual field which gives you a quick overview of uh, how to check patients for confrontation visual field. So first you do the scanning of with uh, the fingers and then you bring the target from each quadrant. You can use 
a white target to start off with, the next target you need to do is a red target. So this is a kinetic uh, confrontation visual pretest. It gives you a very good idea of what is happening. You can come up with uh, hemianopias and uh, uh, see enlargement of blind spots. And similarly, you can uh, see in these patients if there's any arcuate scotomas with glaucoma 